Hi guys and welcome back to iClone 3D where we discuss tips, tricks and tutorials for the latest animation softwares and if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on bell notifications for all our future tutorials. You can also follow me on Instagram at iClone3D and you can also get in touch for any requests, any work opportunities or just for a friendly chat. If you'd like to donate to the channel, you can use my PayPal email below and any donations are greatly appreciated. Now, without further ado, let's crack on with the tutorial. So today we're gonna to look at how to add some custom motion to an already pre-built motion. So I've got a motion in my timeline here, so you can see lean and chat. So I've just dragged and dropped this motion onto my character. So if we hit play, we can now watch that back. Um, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna see how we can make this a little bit more our own and you know, a little bit more unique to us. And it's very simple to do, it takes a couple of seconds and you can really start tuning in your own motion. So we're just gonna come up to our motion tab here and we're gonna go into our edit motion layer. You can also press free on your keyboard and that will bring that up also. And now we're gonna just play that again and just watch that back. And we're just gonna choose a moment where we wanna kind of add something in. So here she throws her arm forward and then she throws it out and she throws it out again. Now, what we might do is we might add a motion where she kind of leans her hand up and strokes her hair, and I'm gonna show you how simple that is to do. So what you wanna do is you wanna find the point in the timeline where you wanna to go to that motion. So if that may be here. Okay, cool. So what we wanna do is firstly, we want the arm to stay as it is here. So we're just gonna hold it there, and we're gonna come out of this we're gonna click on the motion, and we're gonna go up to our animation layer and our base motion, hit unlock, and that will now allow us to edit all those keyframes in here. And if we just open that motion layer tab, we can then see the individual body parts and the components. So what we wanna do is we wanna fiddle around with the right arm. So we'll just drop that down. And we wanna just take out a few keyframes here. So. We want to start to take out the keyframes where the arm comes up here for this motion. So maybe around here is good. We can keep everything before that. So we just want to right click, left click, and we can drag down our timeline and we can start to delete those keyframes. So if I go back now, and you know, the arm will still raise up, but you're going to see once we delete all the keyframes, so we want it to remain, say, here. So now we just want to get rid of these. And then what we want to do is if we hit play here, you'll see the arm still comes up or, or actually it doesn't come up. That's perfect then. So uh, if the arm does still come up, you can just copy this keyframe here and drag it along here. And then that will stop that issue. Uh, so the arm does this and it goes through the mesh and then perfect. Okay, so we've now removed that motion that was keyed in and we can now start to add our own customization. So I'm just gonna close this for a second because it can get you know, a bit too much to look at. So we'll just get rid of all that and we'll just go back to the beginning in our timeline and we'll play that back. So at this point, we want the arm to come up and scratch the hair and then come back down into this position here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a keyframe here. So this is the position where the arm comes back into place. We're adding a keyframe. So we just hit free on our keyboard and then we can just add a keyframe by hitting set key. Now, if we drop down that menu, um, we'll see that we've got a keyframe here. But what we wanna do is we just wanna undo that very quickly, because what we wanna do is we wanna go into our animation layer and we wanna choose a base layer and we wanna add our keyframe into the base layer. So it's kind of separate from the base motion. We're not messing around with this. And we can in fact go ahead and lock that. And now we'll add that same keyframe back into the base layer. So this is just a new motion layer so it won't mess with any of the original motion. So we've got our keyframe where the motion ends that we're gonna put in. And now we're just gonna go back to the beginning to the point where the motion is starting. So if at this point we say we wanted to raise our hand up and play with her hair, we'll just set a key here. So we've got our key set for where we want the motion to start and we've got our key set for where we want the motion to stop and go back to the original format. Now in the middle here, this is where we're gonna add our new motion. So we'll just drag the timeline, we'll drag the keyframe into the timeline here and we'll just click on the arm and then we'll just make that come up 
and uh, brush her hair um, in a very kind of ladylike manner. So let me just get this in the right position. And maybe the arm will rotate as it does so. And that looks pretty cool to me. And then we can just go ahead again and add a couple of keyframes for maybe scratch in motion. One, and we'll go up here and we'll add another. And that's enough there. So now if we play that back from the beginning, we should see the custom motion that we've added play out. Then the arm raises, scratches the hair, comes back down, and we go back into the exact same motion that we've had. So really, really simple and really easy, guys. We'll just watch that back one more time, but you know, I mean, I'm watching it back because it looked really good and I just want to see it again. Um, but you know, it looks really, really cool. And we've added our own custom motion into that motion that is already pre-built. Now, of course you can refine it and get things tighter, etc. but for now, not bad at all. So you know, really simple tutorial guys. And you know, I really hope that helps. I really hope it helps you get creative and start to, you know, go on and develop your own custom motions in these presets. Now I will do one more just for the sake of it. So we'll just maybe add a different custom motion to the head. So maybe at this point here, we want the head to go back. So we're gonna add our, we're gonna set our key at this point because this is where we want our new motion to take place. Uh, now I'm just gonna undo that and I'm gonna go up to my animation layer and I'm gonna actually do this on a new layer and I'm gonna call it the head and I'm just gonna hit okay. And now that you can see there's no keyframes here now. So this is gonna be done on an entirely new layer. So we'll set our key here because this is where we want the motion for the head to start. And maybe at this point here, so I like how the head looked that way, but maybe at this point here, we'll set a keyframe because that's where we want our motion to end, whatever motion that we're keying in in this point here. So we'll just go to the middle and then maybe we'll just make the head look up like that. And if I play that back, we'll see. Okay, so a bit erratic. So what we can do is we can just drag the keyframes over a bit just to smooth that out a lot more and give it a bit more space and a bit more timing. Brilliant, so you can see we've added our own custom motion. So I'll just play that from the top. We've got our character leaning on the seat, hand up in the air, head goes back. And you know, we've really now made this preset motion our own custom motion and we've added our own elements to it. And you know, that's what animation's all about, you know, taking a base motion and, you know, making it your own, customizing it in as best way as you can. Now, of course, you know, like I said earlier, we can get it much more, uh, much more better and smoothed out. Um, the arm coming up from there, we can start to add little keyframes in and, you know, just change the movement of things that way as well. And you'll just see, it will just refine the movement a little bit more. Okay, so we can see that looks um, a lot more refined already. And, you know, really hope it helps, guys, because it really is that simple. As simple as I've just made it, you can get creating some motions from base motions and, you know, adding your own customizations really quick and really easy. So really hope that helps and hope to see you again soon for another tutorial. <laughs>